Hey everybody, it's Mary Jones. Today I'm doing a review of this scope that was sent to me. It's a 4x32 uh, with lit up uh, uh, magnification with different uh, color reticles. And right now I'm just at the range. This is on my AR-15 just to basically just try it out, see how well it works. And then I do a, do a sit down review after, the, after I'm done with the range. Amy here, and I guess all my shots. Here, so I guess uh, a little high to the right. So I'm gonna do that an adjustment. Again. By the way, I'm using uh, five grain, uh, five five seven. Uh, I think this, I think this is Lake City. A little bit of try it out again. Okay, this is interesting. I got one shot right here. But I got more shots over here, so I figure from right here, I'm getting closer to hitting the target. This may be because of uh, you know, me getting used to shooting uh, with one of these, with the scope. I'm give it a shot, see how, I, you know, see how things work. I need a lot of practice with, but um, I was talking about this, but it's pretty clear. Um, it doesn't apply to 25 yards, I am able to see this you know, quite well. I'm impressed I was actually able to get this uh, slightly above the bull. We can keep on going at it and see what I was trying to do. I'm looking around with Back on target. Oh. Bullseye. It's interesting that I was, I thought I was adjusting it in the right direction, but uh, you know, I had to swing it over to the 
I had to change some things up, but I got, I got one bullseye, and I'm going to move my, my round my grouping more over to the left. So I'm going to keep at it and see what the I get. So far, the, I kind of like it. Um, not bad. In better. I <laughs> question mark, that's what I got my first Uh, right now, I don't think it's. I've got this pretty well adjusted. That was just a matter of me controlling my breathing and you know improving my marksmanship. So keep at it. Back from the range, I forgot to show you guys some of the features on this scope. Now, uh, looking at my target, uh, you know it's it's a, it's a little bit all over the place. I've, I'm used to using iron sights, and I seem to be able to keep the rifle a lot, keep my sights a lot more steady. When I'm using iron sights, so but when I'm using optics, it's like every little breath I take, just move the optic over, just a little bit off the target, and so that's one thing I know I have to, have to, uh, have to practice with is controlling my breathing. But you know, I spoke to the range officer and showed him my target, and he thought that you know he's seen how you know how there are groups all over the place. He figured there was something wrong, something wrong with the scope. And I said no, it was, it was my breathing. My breathing was off, and every time I take a breath, it was you know, it would just move the the reticle over the place, and he said, "Wait, well, you were you were standing up and shooting?" I said, "Yeah." He didn't use a sandbag. I said, "No, I didn't. I, didn't, I forgot. I forgot to use the sandbags. In fact, uh, I didn't notice. This, I didn't notice that they had sandbags at the range until I was leaving. I saw him over in the corner, and he said, for a free hand shooting, that's, that's that's pretty good at 25 yards.' I said, "I'm pretty sure I'd be a lot more accurate if I use if I was using the sandbags, but maybe I'll do another review. Um, you know, when I'm resting, when I had the rifle resting on on sandbags at the range, but uh." It's not, it wasn't wasn't too bad of a scope. Uh, as you see, it has these iron sights at the top. I didn't use those. Um, it just seemed a little, I guess it just seemed a bit weird to me the having them that far up. You know, but maybe this is just my perception. Um, but uh, next time I next time I use the I'll I'll you know try using the scope out with using the iron sights at the top. There is a fiber optic, red fiber optic on the on the front of the scope. Let me see if I can line the sights up here in the video for you guys. There you go. That'll be your sight picture. Um, the scope also has this big dial at the top, and there are these. Uh, there are these. Uh, let's see, number one, two, and it's in the color of blue. And that's because this thing has has a red, green, and blue reticle. So right now I got it set on the. It should be on the red right now. Let me see if you guys can see it right there. I zoom in close. I'm not sure if you can see this, but there's a four and a six, and the four and a six represent meters. So this thing is um, this thing is accurate out to 600. Actually, no yards. Sorry, 600 yards at the bottom, then 400 yards a little closer up, and then there are different increments on the reticle, and then dead center is uh, is where it's set to 100 yards. But um. The other thing was pretty, it was kind of fun to use. Um, it uses a, it has a small flat battery. Um, I'm sure, I remember the type of battery that it uses. Uh, I remember it came with a pack, but it's like kind of like a watch battery. Um, you have this focus uh, focusing lens right here for if you want to zoom zoom a little bit in and out. And uh, see, so you have your elevation adjustment up there. And your windage. Uh, I would say the scope, as far as the uh, construction, seems to be seems to be pretty durable. Um, I would say one of the features that I I, I can't I kind of think can be improved is that there's no um, way to put a lens cap on this, unless I, unless it was like a special one that fits right in here and I could pull it out with a tab. Yeah, there's no uh, there's no lens cap, but it does have you know the lens does go pretty far back into the front of the scope. So I guess there's, there's plenty of protection from the outside elements as far as debris that may fall on, you know, fall and you know come in contact with the lens. It has this nice size shield over it. But I may be able to put a lens cap on the back of the scope on this um, on this section right here. If I'm butchering some of the terms, please forgive me. I don't. <laughs> like I said I don't use scopes very often. 
or all for that matter. But uh, overall, I'd say it's you know I think it's a, I think it's an okay design. Um, if I had to give it you know how many wrenches out of five, uh, from my knowledge of scopes of optics, I would give it a four out of five. That's only because I'm not I don't have a whole lot of experience in terms of uh, in terms of you know judging these things. You know, but uh, I didn't. But I knew how to. I knew I didn't know how to use it, and so I got them the basics. Also, I forgot to mention to adjust this. Uh, just this uh, rear iron sight. There's a. It comes with these Allen wrenches, and you use those to turn this. Let's see if I can get it in focus. It's not focusing, but there's a there's a screw right here, and on the top. And you're able to, um, you're able to adjust uh, the windage on this one and the elevation by moving, un uh, unlocking the screw on the top, and you can slide the base of the of the rear sight up and down. We have these increments right here. But uh, that's, it. that's my review of this scope. Um, I guess I give it a four out of five wrenches. I'll include a link to this product in the description box, but uh, yeah, check it out if you're up to it. Also, here's my target. So yeah, I got a few, like I guess this is a set of 25 yards, I got a few bullseyes, but most of the ones you see up in the, up, up in the right, upper right hand corner, they were for, you know, they were, that was like me trying to learn how to adjust the scope and then I started to get a little bit, you know, closer to the middle as my accuracy increased. At that point, it just became a matter of, of controlling my breathing. But that's my review. If you got any comments or questions, please feel free to submit a comment in the comment section. If you want to make a donation to the channel, uh, just go to my homepage, look for the Give Up That Cheese button, and you can make a donation to my PayPal account. Any gripes, complaints, send me a PM. I see what I can do to address them. But uh, this is this is the, my review of the 4x32 Compact Scope. I'm Merrill Jones, and thanks for watching.